But um, the next fight is was the coming event, and this is really great to see Misha Tate uh, make a return because she suffered a, a couple tough losses on her way out of the promotion. It was against Amanda Nunes, and then it was against Raquel Pennington, two tough opponents. But what, just from watching this fight, Blake, would you think that she's been out for almost five years? Uh, not. I mean, did she look like the best no. no but did she look really really good for someone that hasn't been i mean what was it, like 1609 days or some crazy Damn. number like that i can't remember the exact number but it, it was five years since 2016 i want to say mm-hmm. um that's insanity dude she looked like she hasn't missed a beat for the most part does mm-hmm. she have some things she could definitely clean up and, and hopefully improves on if she does uh consider herself in her mind you know uh the top contender and and going towards that goal of, of uh, obtaining the belt, mm-hmm. you know, putting that around her waist. Yeah, man, she needs she needs to clean up a few things. She needs to sharpen some tools. Uh, but that none saying all that, that was a great performance. She went out there, beat a uh, an opponent that people thought she was going to beat, that she was the favorite in. Got and her she did first it TKO in her career too, which is crazy. Yeah, she. I mean. She looked great on the ground. She looked like a savage man. Oh, man. I love the ground and pound. I, you know, we're both suckers for a little bit GNP, man. Oh yeah, I mean that's dude. That's one of the most effective. Shout out Habib. You know, like he's that's one of his big uh, parts of his game. You got a good ground and pound game, and and you can also take people down to the mat. Like mm-hmm. that's a great combination. Obviously, I mean it's just in her prime. Simple. I mean, Misha Tate was a fantastic wrestler and grappler. Mm-hmm. She could get you down to the to the mat, and there wasn't a whole lot you could do there, and so. Uh, this was great not only to see her because obviously when she left the promotion originally there is a lot of stuff going on outside of the octagon which is never great but luckily um, that's been put behind her now she can focus once again on MMA and she look great and she's a fantastic addition to this bantamweight division which is somewhat lacking in real contenders for Amanda Nunes so let's take a look at what next what might be next for her um, because we all know how the women's divisions work in, in the UFC. If you get um, like wins, push you up the, the the rankings way more than in any other of the men's divisions. I mean that that's a fact. You could be a you can win a top fifteen fight. You can win it, or you can win like a fight where you rank eleven to fifteen, and then you be put to top five the next time. It, it's just how it works. So with that being said. How far up would you rank Misha Tate at, at this point? And it, obviously she's going to be coming for Amanda Nunes' belt uh, and try to avenge that loss. So will she ever be able to get this rematch? And if so, how long do you think it would take her? Um, I mean, so I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Holly Holm called her out over the weekend, Which, right? Uh, I... That, I think Misha I saw Tate. something with Holly. Holly I'm Hall. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Holly called out Misha over the weekend, which isn't bad. And that's great because Holly wants to avenge that loss, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Holly lost her championship belt to Misha. Uh, Holly beats Misha. She solidifies herself. She's probably going to get how many times? She's only fought once, right, against Amanda. Um. um sorry, who are you referring to? Holly Holm. Holly Holm. Yeah, she um she fought could... Amanda Nunes once. Yeah, she could get a rematch if she beat Misha. I, I think like really that could that could damn near be the title eliminator between her it could be and Holly Holm. Like straight up, if the, if that fight got signed, and then you know what, I wouldn't mind seeing after, if the, if that got signed, I wouldn't mind seeing Aldana versus Jermaine Durand me. Mm. And that would be like you know the for sure number one contender after that. Yeah, because that would show us if, as long as Aldana makes weight, <laughs> you know. Well, uh, just don't just don't menstruate that, that week. I guess I don't know. What yeah, you're talking, man. <laughs> you gotta you gotta hit it on your cycle, I guess, or off your cycle. I don't well, know how you, you gotta to time that. the date right. You gotta time the fight date right. I guess right. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a trash situation to be in. That's just unlucky. But yeah, I, I mean, I love those two fights. I think Holm versus Misha Tate. Mm-hmm. That's fire. That's a rematch. You can definitely build that up. Pretty. Yeah, you could damn near have them headline really. Like you a could fight say, night. That could help. Yes, that could headline the fight night. Uh, um, that, and that, yeah, that'd be sweet. That's not bad, but for Misha Tate, do you think she should be in, put in this position where she's a win away from a title shot? Is that realistic? 
yeah i mean i don't know how much better she's gonna get Mm -hmm. you know um and that's not like taking a slide at her it's just saying like she's been out for five years i'm Mm -hmm. sure she you know started training really hardcore at a certain point knowing that she was gonna make a comeback so it's not like i I don't think she just started getting back into no 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 i would hope not at least no Um, she no she's been so i mean why like why why waste time if if you're as good as you think you are go in there get it get it get you know get a good win against holly holm who's definitely gonna challenge you and gonna get you ready and then go try your heart out against uh amanda nunez again see what happens i love that mindset man if we want to get the business let's just get the business and and, and get things rock and rolling because all those fights will still be there after the the nunez fight like get that you know get that get those big fights while you're still younger (laughs) And then if you want to look at it, though, too, ultimately, the whole point of this is to get Amanda Nunes a contender for the belt. Or, I mean, or for most of the time, she, it's... Or just a good fight. We want to stop giving her victims and giving, and we want to give her opponents. You know what I'm saying? We want to give her something. And I know for a fact Misha Tate is better than at least 10 of these top 15 fighters in, in the women's bantamweight division. She's a better competition for Amanda Nunes and all those fighters. And honestly, I mean, if you look at the top five, Juliana Pena, Irina Aldana, Aspen Ladd, Holly Holm, Jermaine Duranamay. And honestly, besides maybe Jermaine Duranamay, but at least Holly Holm, Misha Tate's a better, challenge, a better challenger for that belt than any one of these women. I guess we'll see from Aspen Ladd once we get to her. Aldana, though, dude. I don't, uh, she beat up on Yana, but she also came in overweight and I don't want to disrespect yes. Yana like that, but she... But, man, those hands, though, dude, you yeah. can't, you know? They were... Like, that's the one thing is, like, Aldana's hands are on another level than I feel like. The only other person that's maybe close to her level in striking is, is probably Holly. Yeah. And I, yeah. Just, I still don't even think, like, Holly's hands are... Like, it's more like her kicks. It's, it's you know? definitely her kicks and her kickboxing, but if... Michi Aldana Tate, has some slick striking. If anyone could neutralize that striking, it's probably someone like Misha Tate, though. True, but I'm just saying it's. Oh yeah, that, you know, besides uh, Durandamy, I would say like that's probably the biggest strike, and obviously Cyborg. I like Aldana like, more than Jermaine Durandamy, actually. That's I'm just yeah. That's a yeah. I, that's a good. I think that's a good future match. Like there's mm-hmm. two possible good matchups. I don't know. Misha Tate's hands didn't give me enough to like really believe that she's gonna be able to have enough to uh to really challenge uh nunez yeah. but we'll see man i don't know it just didn't look as crisp as i really think it should to to give her a challenge yeah um i like it though and i'm so glad Mitch Tate's back we get some real competition and some really great fights that we should be able to look forward to in the somewhat struggling women's bantamweight division